Sarah to introduce you the rest of the cast. Dana Sinclair and Pamela Sinclair are played by Michelle Miner and Denise Hardy. My wife Yvonne Sinclair is played by Mary Dee Myers. Sam Taylor, the butler, is played by David Fangman. And my psychiatrist, Dr. Audrey Stevens, is played by Lisa Milbeck. Rounding out the cast is Scott Bradley, who plays the part of Trent Lehman. Now I'd like to tell you a little bit about today's episode. In today's episode, you will find out what Yvonne plans to do about Trent and Dana's relationship. And Sam finds something out that may change the lives of three people. I hope you enjoy today's episode. Thanks for the compliment, David. But I am really a little deep. My life has just turned around because of you. And then this and I went in the right direction. And what do you mean? One thing that you have helped me commit throughout the lost season of Mason. I just should have known that he was in his own hand. Like I said, I'm not even in support. Steve Bradley has been known to stir up trouble, and this time it just happened to be a few minutes ago. Actually, that is just a good topic. Have you told your parents about our plans to marry? Not exactly. The trend you have to realize is mostly my mother that's the problem. It's my mother. Be honest with me. Your mother has a liking since the first time I stepped foot in your marriage and passion. I'm working on her trend. But don't worry, in fact, tonight I'm planning on some plans for marriage. Over dinner, and you are to be there. <laughs> Good. So nice to see you again, Mr. Sinclair. How have you been? To tell you the truth, not so good. Well, why is that, Pete? It's my wife. She's been driving me absolutely crazy. I'm afraid our marriage isn't going to work much longer. She's become an absolute monster. And I'm afraid to even claim that she's my wife. I'm so sorry to hear how badly your relationship has become. You need to get away and find some inner peace. Well, I'm leaving for New York after I go home for a quick visit with my wife, and I think that will somewhat help. Yes, indeed it will. I think I have the answer to the whole problem, but we'll discuss that in our next session. Now you have a good time in New York, okay? Thank you again, Dr. Stevens. I don't know where I would be sometimes without you, and I look forward to seeing you next session. Well, have a good time. Thank you. Yes, is Mrs. Sinclair at home? Oh, I'm speaking to her. Good, because this is Dr. Audrey Newman. I need to see you this afternoon, and don't tell your husband that you're coming. All right, goodbye. Vaughn, how have you been? How's your day been? Terrible, Pete. I'm worried about her daughter dating that Trent Lehman. He's nothing but a troublemaker. Well, why are you so sure that Trent's such a bad man? Well, I had someone at his room check up at him. Check up. Oh on him. And the report wasn't good at all. Well, what do you mean? Is he in some kind of trouble with the law? No, but he runs a nightclub called the Subversion. And he served a minor. Oh my god, he didn't. Yes. <laughs> it's okay, darling, it is. The minor killed an old couple in well, Yvonne, we've got to talk to our daughter, Dana, soon. Darling, I'm going to try to talk to her tomorrow. Yvonne, I'm sorry, but I can't. Oh my god, I totally forgot. I have to go out of town for a business meeting. I'm sorry, but this is very important. Sinclair Marketing is on the verge of getting this $200,000 marketing campaign package, and we could be filthy rich after this. I just have to go to this meeting. I'm grateful for the company, darling, but we were planning on going to a fundraiser tomorrow at the Beaumont. Well, this time I'm sorry, but I must put my work before charity. Darling, it seems as if you put your company before our marriage. You are so irresponsible and not grateful and inconsiderate to me. Well, I've about had it up to here with your little comments, Yvonne. You have turned into nothing but a ruthless wench. Thank you, my husband. He's always on the himself. I hope 
to God, the business falls apart someday. He never lets me help with it. What the hell did you do that? I have some bit of bad news. I spilled the... <laughs> I was cleaning the closet and I spilled some uh, cleaner on the cleaner here. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't believe you, Mr. Taylor. You're fired! <laughs> I know what you're saying. Out of the mansion tomorrow! <laughs> Let's see about this. <laughs> Different way. I just hate lying to Trent about him being the father of my baby when he isn't. 
I'm just as guilty, but you must remember, don't tell anyone who the real father is. Here. You're thinking of your time with me. After all, I'm the father of your baby. 